Hello and welcome. Um, today I will uh, talk about twists and uh, how you can make them properly by yourself and um, adding some uh, basic parametric uh, dimensions on it so you can change it along the way while you um, modeling it. And of course the trusses are uh, a great example for roof um, designing and um, don't be afraid to follow along with the video and uh, see where you get it's uh, not that hard so um, yeah let's get straight into it as you see um, i already placed uh, four wooden columns in a concrete slab uh, before uh, you can do that um, you need to insert the columns and of course uh, the beams so uh, first we're gonna do that how we gonna do it very simple you go to the insert tab go to load autodesk family and first we're gonna um, load a the beams so where do we um, find the beams very simple we go to structural framing right here then we will pick wood and then you just check the box in and you click on load and then you can choose which dimensions you want or you can make uh, some different dimensions by your own and for the columns it's the same but instead of structural framing we go right here with structural columns we go to wood check the box again load it in and later on you can choose which uh, dimension of a column you want so that's the first thing that you want to do so the next thing that we're going to do is go to the floor plan and you see here the columns and then we need a section view uh, to see where we're gonna put the truss of course so we go to the view of the section and there you go you see the columns here and between those columns is uh, there is six meters so we're gonna make a truss uh, six meters long and a angle of 45 degrees well we go to the file and make a new family right here now we're gonna look for the trusses there are something here so here you see metric structural trusses you click open and that's what we have now to work easily we're gonna split the view so we can see what we are going to do or make so we're gonna leave it right here and this i'm gonna leave it right here now, before I start uh, drawing the trusses, I will um, uh, look if the dimensions or the project units are uh, okay. I want it in centimeters, so I go to the Manage tab right here. Then you go to uh, Project Units. And here see we see the distance in centimeters is good, but this one we need in centimeters also. We click OK. And now you see uh, the truss length is 25 meters, <laughs> but uh, we only need 6 meters. So how do we change that? Very simple. You go to the Create tab, and then you go to the Family Types right here. And don't mind of these param parameters, we will change them uh, later in the video on, so don't worry about it. Now, instead of 25 meters, we need 6 meters and there we go we click apply and voila there we have our six meters now to know the height of the truss um, we will uh, do that right here in the project how we're gonna do that very simple you're gonna draw a detail line of the truss that we want so we, this is the bottom one and this is the top shorts that we want 45 degrees same with this one uh, 45 degrees then we're going to use the trim tool oh. trim tool and voila gonna put the dimension on it right here and voila oh look it's the same it's uh, 300 so we don't need to change that so we go back to our family and now uh, the drawing of the trusses begin so we go to the create tab right here and then we're gonna uh, first draw a top uh, short so these are two uh, beams that we want so we're gonna draw it again under uh, 45 degrees All right now we're gonna draw the bottom short so we're gonna go to the create tab again and now we're gonna draw the bottom short and we go to 
from this point to this point because it's six meters and this is also six meters and now we need a, a vertical one so we're gonna go to the uh, um, create tab <laughs> uh, we're gonna make a web and we're gonna make the vertical one and there we're gonna make a diagonal one and also there and there you go and now we can just load uh, the truss family into the projects and place uh, the truss itself so um, we go to the family again we go to uh, load into projects okay and now it's loaded i will uh, cancel this because i will show you properly how you can um, uh, pick the trust that you want and where to find them so i will click cancel and i will change the view a bit from this to here or maybe a little bit more like here so we can see still see where we are working on now so the first thing that we're gonna do is um, go to the level that we want to draw the truss of course so we want to draw the truss on level one so we go to level one and there you have it so uh, to find the truss you go to the structure tab right here you click on uh, truss and then you see our family here that we made that's the exact same family here so we have it already and keep in mind that you uh, always draw the truss on the level that you are on so the work plane here is level uh, one you can't change that later on so keep that in mind now we're gonna draw the chart from the center of the column to the other center of the column and there you see it that's our um, truss that we want to go to the section see that's the truss that we exactly want and now we're going uh, we are going to go to 3d so we can see it better and uh, make it better now i already see some issues that we want to resolve so um, the first thing is that the vertical one needs to go uh, through them or higher and the these ones needs to be uh, or not uh, crossing the middle one so they need to move a bit outwards so we're going to uh, change that to the family again but we're gonna assign the beams uh, first to the dimensions that we want so we can see easily uh, how we want to adjust the family truss again so how do we do that very simple we click on the truss you go to edit type and now we're gonna uh, uh, change the charts and the vertical or diagonal uh, webs so for the top charts so these beams right here we want other beams so we will select the structural framing uh, type oh that's the bottom one need the top top one structural framing type already made them and i will use the dimension uh, 15 by 15 you click apply and there we go that's what we want to have also for the bottom short we also want the 15 by 15 and we're gonna also do that for the um, a vertical one so we're going to change this to 15 by 15 right here apply and the diagonal ones we will uh, make or assign a little smaller ones so 10 by 10 apply and there we go so as you see uh, we will need to move uh, the beams more outwards and we want this beam uh, moving more uh, above the top charts so how do you do you want to do that very simple we go to the family again i'm gonna make the window again a bit smaller so we can see what we are doing that's what we want now um, i'm gonna make a parametric dimension for the for the vertical uh, beam so we can just it manually in the project itself so how do you do that very simple we go to the create tab right here we're gonna make a reference plane we're gonna draw that right here it doesn't really matter where you uh, draw it we're gonna make a chop short um, um, vertical beam excuse me <laughs> um, a little bit uh, higher and we're gonna align it to the reference line we're gonna pick the reference line and then the dot of the line and lock it 
Then we're gonna add a dimension right here. We're gonna lock it also, move it a little bit outward. And now we're gonna assign a, a label or a parameter. Where you do that, very simple. Here you can assign a label, you create create parameter, and I will use a Dutch, uh, Dutch term because I don't know it in English. All right, we click OK. That's how we want it. And now we're gonna test it if it works. We can do that right here on the family types. And right here you see our parameter that we made. Now it's 40, I will make it 20, apply, and there we go, it's changed. So we will back to 40 so we can see the difference. Now again, we go to load it to the project, of course. And now we're gonna uh, only override the existing version and its parameters because we add a new one, of course, and then you see already it pointing out. So we're gonna re redimension our view boxes. And now, so the next thing that we're gonna do is scope them so they are more realistic. Or, oh, we forgot the spacing, oh my bad. Not good. So we're gonna back to the family and we're gonna make the window a bigger again if we can can snap it. Alright, we're gonna pick it. Now how do we do that? Uh, very simple. We're gonna make a offset right here. It can adjust offset and we need 10 of course, and then we're gonna just offset it. Pick the diagonal once to here, then delete this once. And again, load it into project, okay. Overwrite it, and there we go. That's a lot better. Now we're gonna make this window smaller again, so we can uh, adjust the beams. So now, uh, what I wanted to say is, of course, when you uh, are going to cope the beams, uh, make sure you do that as last, because if you cope them and you wanna redimension them, the coping will be uh, gone. So keep that in mind. Now uh, we're gonna select all the beams and we're gonna unpin them first, or you can't uh, really cope them or do anything with them. So we're gonna uh, select all instance visible in view. We're gonna unpin them right here, unpin. And there we go. Now we're gonna extend it to the dimension that we want. By the way, for this, uh, bottom chart you can do it like here but on the both sides it's just the same but i'm gonna do it uh, like this for now then we're gonna diagonal we're gonna extend also we're gonna extend these also and now for this one uh, we're gonna add it like here you see the the parameter that we made we're gonna set it to 25 it will be high enough all right there we go and now we're gonna cope them. So how do we do that? Very simple, you go to the modify tab here and then you go to cope and now we're gonna cope the beam. So now the first beam that you uh, wanna select is the beam that you actually wanna cope. So I want to cope this beam with this one and now you see it's really nicely done. Same with this one and this one. And now the same from this one with this one and this one with this. Whoop, okay, there we go. Wanna go with this one. But now as you see, there was some spacing and we don't want that, of course. How do we change that? Um, I will show you in a minute, like right now. Um, how do you do that? Again, you select the beam. And as you see, uh, we have an new parameter on the structural one. Here it stands coping distance to, and if we do that by zero, it will be gone. And voila. Now we can select, of course, multiple beams that we can adjust the coping distance right here. But keep in mind that you only need to select the beams that we coped, because if you select this beam, the parameter will be gone. 
So uh, keep in mind that you only select the beams that you coped. So we're going to unselect this one and now change it to zero. There you go. And voila, there you have your nice looking truss. And one extra thing that we need to do is to uh, offset the truss a little bit more. So it's uh, right on top of the columns. That's again on the section tab, you select the truss. Or first we're gonna measure it, of course. My bad, it's from here to here, it's eight. So we're gonna select the truss and we're gonna do a start offset level. And this one, eight. And there we go. Now the truss is on top of the column. And uh, that's how you make a, yeah family dress. I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, and uh, yeah please like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye bye!